my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm trying something just a little bit different, so you'll have to let me know if you like these types of videos. But I thought it would be fun just to do some dough bowl decorating today. So decorated a bunch of different ways to give you all kinds of ideas for spring. So the dough bowl that I am going to be decorating today is one that I had ordered from Decor Steels many years ago. It's a very large size. As you can see, it's bigger than me. I will make sure to link down below in the description box this exact one where I purchased it. I think you have to join the wait list though until they do become available. Hobby Lobby has some beautiful bowls out in their spring shop right now that are very comparable to this. A little bit different shade of brown, but what I love about these bowls, one, they're so fun to just come up with different creative ways to decorate throughout the seasons but they're just such a versatile piece. Just so many different ways you could use these. I've used mine on my sideboard, which is right behind me, but they also would make a great coffee table centerpiece. If you have a large island in your kitchen, these would be very fun to decorate. So they're just very versatile in that, that you can change out the decor throughout the seasons, and then you could use them in so many different places in your home. For Christmas time, I did a whole Christmas village in here with some flocked green hair. It was so pretty, and I'm still seeing glitter in here from that. So I'm going to give it a good wipe down before we get started. When you're decorating a bowl, the surface is not even, so it makes it very hard to put things on a level surface. Everything's just crooked. So there's a few things that I like to use that help me get everything standing straight. One of those just being, I'm holding them all right here, hopefully I don't drop them. One of them just being a piece of scrap wood. This I had left over from a project and it happens to fit just perfectly in my bowl to help get things to stand up straight. I actually use this on my Christmas village. I had little houses lined up on them. And so a piece of scrap wood would be the cheapest way to rise some of your decor out of your bowl. But Hobby Lobby also has a few different types of risers in their spring shop right now that would also work. This is one that I've actually used for just decor around the house, but it matches my bowl perfectly. So I'll just set that in the bowl and I have an instant boost to my decor as well. And then also from Hobby Lobby are these trays that you can find in the spring shop right now. But they're actually, they're really beautiful looking. So if you have them in your tray, it's okay if they're peeking out and showing because they, they look nice. But just another way to elevate your decor in your bowls. So I have the larger stand of the three in the bowl right now. You see how it just, it matches pretty well with my bowl. And now I have a level surface to decorate. So we're gonna call this dough bowl the birdhouse bowl. I want it to look like there is a lush little garden <laughs> that my birdhouse is hanging out in. And so I'm just gonna use this super cheap garland. I think it's like $7 also Hobby Lobby to fill in around my tray as like a base greenery, if I can get it untangled. What was I doing here? I don't know. use items that I have in my decor stash. This one was from Decor Steals. I got it in a surprise box, I think, last year. It's a little birdie. I have my little lavender arrangement from Hobby Lobby. There's some floral. That's kind of cute. Okay, so now I just want to fill in with more greenery. Maybe a little bit of lavender as well to go along with my arrangement there.
might try a little nest under my birdie for just a little bit more texture. It's a little big. I don't know, what do we think? Nest or no nest? There's definitely more I could add or play around with to get the perfect arrangement of greenery and florals, but I think I'm at a good stopping point on this one. I don't like to go too over the top. I do like things fully decorated though, so I'm pretty happy with this one. I will say this eucalyptus is the Amazon that I just shared with you. I love this. It's so easy to work with because every single stem bends. Oh, it's very, it's wonderful so yes this will be our first dough bowl our what do we call this the birdhouse I cleared everything out of the bowl except for my riser and we're going to do a bunny bowl that's what we're going to call this one bunny bowl something for easter time now i want to use this little bunny rocker this you can find at michael's they do have them again this year i think he is so cute and he is my inspiration for this tray so I'm gonna start with him, whoa, there we go. So he will be my bunny. But you could also do any sort of tall bunny that you have. And then I also have this greenery stem from Hobby Lobby that I kind of think is pretty big, but I love that you can just like separate it. It's very easy to work with again, I like easy. So I think that I'm going to just drape this around him won't rock as much too and then I can fill in my bowl around that I'm gonna try to use a sign on this bowl. I love how these two go together. This I shared with you in my Hobby Lobby video. But I think now that I'm using the sign, I need to flip him to face the other way. Let's do that. Cottontail Farms, I think we need to add some carrots. I really don't want to add too much more to this bowl. I think less is more, but I do have a little bit of a hole here. I'm considering adding a few eggs, but I'm not quite sure yet. I might just play around with the greenery and see if I can't get it to cover this little hole a little bit better. And then we can try an egg or two and see what that looks like. I ended up pulling just a little bit of greenery off the back and the front and just tucked it under the sign so you cannot see that little hole anymore and it's still going in the same direction as the other greenery i actually like it like this it's very simple but cute but just for fun let's try a few eggs
decided to add in those bunny tails or whatever they call them at the last minute. I just feel like it gives another texture and how fitting that we're at the cottontail farms. Those I usually use in the fall, but they're part of the dried floral section at Hobby Lobby. They're super cute. So far, this little bunny bowl is my favorite, but next I wanna switch gears and do just a couple of simple dough bowl designs. The first one I'm going to share with you, I feel like might work really well if you decorate on top of your refrigerator, if you have enough room for a bowl or on top of a hutch even too. So something where you don't need a bunch of small things, but just a couple of larger scale items to complete the look. We're going to call this one the easy tray. That's what we're going with because it really is. It's super easy. I'm just going to use my scrap wood for this one because I do want it to go the full length of the bowl so I can set just two larger items on top. Just going to add this fern from Target. This one is from last year, but they do have one with just a different sort of pot, but super similar. So I will um, link the one that I can. I'm just going to simply set it on top of my scrap wood and then I think for this side what I want to do first I have a couple ideas. The first thing I'm going to add is just a simple lantern. I like the shape of this one. This is from Decor Steels. Um, it's a smaller of the set of two that they sell but I feel like it works. I can always shift this over a little bit. And then I'm just going to put a candle in the middle. So because this dough bowl would be placed up high, you wouldn't really need to worry about filling in and covering the board. It's just a matter of are the things level and what can you see at a distance? So yes, super easy, but perfect, like I said, for maybe above the refrigerator, on top of a shelf, or on top of a hutch. Now, if you do not like the lantern or want to do something a little bit different, take the lantern off. And another idea would be to just simply stack cookbooks for a cute little look. So let's try that. And then I might try adding something on top of the cookbooks that's more spring related. So how about this little birdhouse? I found this at a local florist. Yeah, I think that works. Very cute. Let's do a table centerpiece idea now, super easy. First thing, I'm just going to put a large vase into the bowl and it looks like I might put something underneath it so it's level and sturdy. This again, decor steals. It's like a big demijohn, do you say demijohn bottle? I can also try to link this, but super pretty. Perfect color for spring. So yeah, let's find something to set it on top of. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some stems. These are from Amazon. I love how sparse they are, which is really what spring is. Everything's just starting to bud and grow. So when you order them, you get two. I'm going to see if we need two or just one will work. Okay. 
Okay, so something like that. And now we really just need to fill in around the vase. I think I might use this Hobby Lobby garland again. The greenery kind of coordinates well. It loves to get tangled easily. <laughs> Let's see here. Crystal needs to get it together. call them orbs for today's video but anyways all of them are from Hobby Lobby I've just collected them over the years with the exception of these little guys these are from Kirkland's but you can buy bags of orbs and just dump them in or even potpourri for that matter and it fills the bowl and looks really pretty alone just like that but if you have a pretty vase you want to display on your centerpiece this would be a fun way to do it so I'm gonna take the face out and then just style the bowl with some fun spring orbs. Don't mind my dishwasher running right now, but for this one, I'm just going to use the one stem of eucalyptus on each side. I really like when some of the greenery goes over the side just a little bit, almost like it's overgrown, but to me it just feels a little bit more natural but I don't want to do too much because I want my orbs to be the center of attention here. So I'm just going to add in what I have. And this is probably the easiest way to style any sort of bowl. This is a great low profile option. So maybe on like a TV stand, if you have a shelf that's open, or really what I was envisioning was like a coffee table, even dining table really, centerpiece, just a good mix of different textures and colors. And then you saw me add my Kirkland's orbs, two of them to finish off the look just for a small pop of white. Believe it or not, I still have a few more ideas to share with you. But before I move on, I just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying today's video, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed. This is really only the first spring decorating video I have shared so far. So there is a lot of more videos to come. We're going to do a coffee table bowl now. Treat it kind of like a coffee table tray, but in a bowl instead with all of the essentials that you'd see, books, candle, uh, maybe a floral, we'll see. But we're gonna start with this so we have a level surface to place our things on. I think that's the one I wanna use, we'll see. But let's grab a some florals. I'm not sure what these are called, but these were from the Magnolia website. They remind me of spring one, but baby's breath is kind of what I think of when I see these. Just really beautiful, small, dainty floral, which is perfect because I want this coffee table tray, we'll say, to be very simple. And what's nice about these stands is that you can kind of tuck the stems of your florals and greenery underneath there, and they're instantly concealed. So I'm gonna try to do something like this. 
No coffee table tray is complete without a couple of books. So I just grabbed a few. I went with white to really pop off of my wood bowl. So I'm just gonna prop those on the top. Doesn't need to be fancy. And then last, I just simply want to add a candle. this is really all you need for a coffee table arrangement especially when you follow the rule of threes so we have our books our candle and some floral if having this extra space bothers you I mean you could put in some farmhouse beads or just some of those mini orbs or some sort of filler on the sides but I think it is beautiful in its simplicity we'll call this bowl the Ray Dunn bowl because I'm going to use a Ray Dunn piece on this one but I just pulled out this old hearth and hand garlands that I had. And I'm just gonna wrap it around this riser. I wanna flip it. Okay, and we're gonna do a Ray Dunn birdhouse. Pink. And then I have these candle holders. I believe these came from Amazon, or these candlesticks. I've had them for so long. They're some of my favorites though. I love the white kind of look to them that they have. Let me do something like this. It's cute. Have some beads. thinking about adding these pink flowers, but I really don't have enough of them. What I do have are these florals. And these are really fun. I like how they're really soft. They're from Hobby Lobby. So I might just, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I might just stick a couple of these into the bowl. What do we think of the Ray Dunn? I actually don't mind it. I think it turned out pretty cute. I mean, there's lots of things you can use instead of a birdhouse next to these candles, uh, but I love how that looks for spring. These little white flowers from Hobby Lobby, super cute. They pull off really easy from the stems. And I just really like how they're floppy, so they just drape and lay really nicely too. We're thinking spring on the inside, but I I just looked outside and it's snowing. It's like, it's never gonna end, never gonna end. But we are going to continue on. I have one last dough bowl idea to share with you. And that is really just to pop a lantern into the bowl and then surround it just with a bunch of florals. I know hydrangeas I see used quite a bit. So I wanna try to use those 
be just because they're really nice and big full blooms it's just really easy to place them in your bowl and make it look full so we're gonna try that and see what we can come up with to finish off this video I think you could really leave the bowl like this with just some greenery surrounding a lantern that you like. But I'd like to add a little bit more to see what it looks like. So I'm just going to pop in some flowers around it to give almost like that spring garden look. Change of plans was not loving the lantern, so I think we're just going to fill it with flowers. So I have four hydrangeas in my bowl right now. I'm not liking them all together. Two of them are more cream, two are white, which I don't mind that, but I don't know, it's not doing it for me. So what I did was I cut up the hydrangeas that I just shared in my spring haul from Hobby Lobby. And I think I'm going to try to intermix these into the bowl so it's not, I don't know, all white so i'm gonna see how that works it's just a lot of playing around with these flowers until i'm happy with it
All right, my friends, that's going to be it for today's spring dough ball, dough ball. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is going to be it for today's spring dough bowl decor ideas. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below in the description box and let me know which one was your favorite. I feel like there are just so many different ways you can style them. And hopefully this gives you some ideas to decorate yours as we are starting to prepare for spring. But anyways, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.